Well, hey everybody, Billy from LM Cases here. I know this is a rare, a rare thing. You can actually see my face in this video, but I thought, hey, we've got a, a unique video today. Why not set up two cameras? Um, before I try to sell you anything else, check out the hat. This is the uh, LM1985 hat. If you are interested in this hat, you can uh, get one for free uh, for orders over $1,000 on our web store. Or if you'd like to buy one, uh, just check the link uh, either appearing above your head and or the description below. So this is a cool case. I got to be really honest with you. I'm super excited about this. I know that it, as far as like the technical things that LM does on, on the regular, this is not the most technical thing that, that I've ever showed you. However, this is unique. I came into work. I, I booted up Facebook, was looking at Facebook to see if any of you have left a comment on our page, and lo and behold, PA of the day retweeted this guy named Scott Fisher from the Wave Sound in Las Vegas, who had an eBay auction for a Shore Axiant stick with a Beta 58 capsule that was going for $99,500. I thought, okay, clickbait, you got me. I checked that out and I just through eBay sent Scott a message and said, hey, if you're auctioning this microphone off, I would love to donate a case so I can make a video like this. He wrote me back within 20 minutes and said, no problem, lay it on me. So I ran down to engineering. All of our, all of our esteemed engineers were like, we're down, let's go. They got this design together. I called my friend Matt at Technical Elements in Atlanta and he provided me this this microphone that you're looking at right now. Although this is an Axiom stick, it's not the Axiom stick, the hundred thousand dollar Axiom stick. Um, so we came up with this display case idea, and I just figured that I would show you guys what we came up with. So this is what's called an XTA series case from us. Um, so we have a series called XL. Um, this is a, a fixed lid maker, what we call it, and a tray and a case maker, which is the bottom part, which is, makes the tray. Um, you, it, this is, this was super, this was the Pelican case before Pelican cases for us. Um, if you had microphones or, or anything like that in the nineties or early two thousands, this is what we built. Um, we have a modified version of it called XTA that you get this recessed handle in here. Um, but for height reasons, uh, we couldn't fit a, a flight case handle. So we've got this, this, uh, surface mount handle in here. Um, so here's what we are up to. The lid comes off like this to reveal the infamous Axiant microphone. Um, basically, the way that this aluminum extrusion works is it's wrapped around a quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, the lid here, this is a quarter inch piece of Lexan because um, obviously I would guess whoever spent $100,000 on this microphone is probably not going to uh, use it for shows. Um, and this is going to be strictly for display purposes only. So uh, this is a one-inch lid. We're filling the, li the one-inch lid with, this is um, PE foam that's wrapped in purple uh, velvet because we're actually working on another project that I'm going to show you guys pretty soon that uh, is requiring purple velvet, which is pretty cool. Hint, it's a guitar case. Um, so this is our lid. We're using mini ball corners, which we very rarely ever get to use. The only time we ever get to use these is for our album frames which uh, I think are cool that are, are really unpopular. So if you're interested in that, check out a link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Come on, you know me, you're watching this video, it's a sales pitch. So anyway, here's the microphone in the case. It's, uh, this is a custom CNC cut, or this is a custom CNC cut insert. Um, we got CAD from Shure. Um, all the little indents for everything are in here. It matches the, uh, the, the ergo grip on the, on the microphone. Um, and then Jack, uh, who you may have seen in our Instagram reel, who has, is just the best at, at anything that has to do with foam. He's worked for us since I think 1996. He is the man. Any, any custom foam stuff that you've seen done in LM, chances are Jack probably did it. So it's nice to uh, introduce him to you guys. So if you missed that Instagram reel, uh, check us out on Instagram, LM underscore cases. So basically, uh, this is a very long video for a very simple case. So the microphone is in here with a bit of friction um, so that you can tilt it up on its side like this and it won't fall out because that is how it's going to live its life. Um, on the back here, we made this, we made the back of the case out of marine grade plastic. This is quarter inch marine grade plastic and we routed in uh, little eyelets so that you can hang it on the wall and uh, just to keep things 
uh, so that it's not too, too gaudy. We did put our, our label on the back, and uh, like all LM cases, it does have a unique serial number. So if somebody uh, 10 years from now discovers this case and wonders why there is a simple short accent uh, microphone located in a very, very overzealous case, I'm sure that uh, the serial number will lead it back to this. So anyway, um, a little bit of background on the auction. Uh, Scott Fisher, who is the sound company owner of The Wave in... Um, the name of the sound company is The Wave, based in Vegas, uh, is donating half of the charity to the Wounded Warrior Project, and the other half is going to a local synagogue in Las Vegas. So, um, again, I'm, I'm very curious to see what, what Scott does with this when he gets it. Um, I, I can't wait to see the press that, uh, that may come of this, and uh, thank you to Scott um, for allowing LM to be a part of this project. So as I end all of my videos, if you have any questions, email me direct, billy at lmcases.com. Um, but depending on when we can get this video out and edited, do some Googling on this. The, the amount of, of fan things, or not even fan things, but just press that this has gotten. Uh, I talked to Scott last week, and he told me that he had done interviews with um, Business Week and TMZ, and it was a top story on TMZ, so this is really cool. Um, I, I'm so thankful for Scott to, uh, to allow LM to be a part of this. Um, I hope that whoever gets this mic, uh, is enjoying it and it's going on the wall of a studio or something. And, uh, LM can have a, just a small part of, of this very interesting eBay bid. Uh, I, I know that accidents at the moment are a bit in short supply, but a hundred thousand dollar stick is a lot. So anyway, again, if you have any questions, you can email me billy at lmcases.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and, uh, thanks for Scott for, um, doing a really cool thing with uh, with this microphone and, and um, helping out some really great causes. See ya.